Hi, I'm Carolina. If you're watching this, you probably want to become a software engineer or a software developer because, well, let's face it, those careers will set you up for the future for at least the next 10 years. And they're fun. So you probably have gone through a couple of courses, like Python courses online. Uh, you probably know how to write an if statement or a for loop, but you just don't know how to make this transition from this, you know, for loop writing to an actual software development and be employable. I'm a software engineer and I didn't have a background in computer science and today I'd like to talk to you about how I managed to get a job as a software engineer without a computer science degree, without doing any bootcamp. I studied economics. I hated it. And I'm telling you, I couldn't stand that theoretical mumbo jumbo. I wanted to do things, to create things. It was such a strong realization. So I started to explore how I can make this transition from being an economist to being a creator, being a coder, programmer, developer. I wanted to teach myself technology online like you probably are doing at the moment. So I went through multiple online courses, Python courses, and I tried to go through this, which is actually a very good book. It teaches you about objects, uh, object-oriented programming. But okay, I was still at that point of, after going through all those courses, knowing how to write a for loop. And I was just wondering, okay, how, how do I do this? How do I actually make myself employable how do I make this transition? People are saying, do open source projects, contribute to them. You know, uh, download repos, make some pull requests, um, you know, do open source. And I was like, dude, I don't even know how to download that repo, let alone make a change that is not laughable. So what did I do eventually? I got an internship in data science. Getting an internship is such a good way to get your foot in the door. And now, pro tip. Try to get into data science or machine learning first. Well, that's what I did. And why? Because it is so simple. Data science, machine learning are the easiest things you can do. All you have to do is to know some basic Python, some of its libraries like NumPy, Pandas, those libraries will do neural nets for you and decision trees for you and speech to text processing for you. Like all you have to do is just like download the library, plug in some data. It's going to be five lines of code and then you'll get your output. Boy, this is the simplest thing you can do on your own. And this is the simplest way to get an internship in, uh, in tech. Just do data science. Okay, disclaimer, machine learning is easy unless you're actually building those algorithms, in which case it's bloody hard and mathsy. Okay, so I got an internship. It was with a small tech startup in London and I was a data scientist. How did I get that internship? Well, I guess I just convinced them in the interview that I'm interested in the subject. And yes, I did go through all the courses and I read some articles. I couldn't do things, but I had that theory in mind. And that internship was a real deal. It really taught me how software is done commercially, how companies set up their infrastructures, how you can you know, manipulate databases using Python, how you can actually bring the data from the databases to your variables, and how you can gain some real insights from the data using some data science or machine learning libraries. Um, I believe I actually did um, decision trees, k-means, k-mode, um, perhaps something else. So that kind of basic machine learning algorithms, despite having no background, despite having no idea how they were working under the hood, well, maybe I had like a a little bit of an idea, but I was not an expert. I didn't write them. I just used them. It was a good summer. At that point, I was so sure I want to do this that there was no coming back. And so the next thing I wanted to do, and I did, was a conversion masters in computer science. Look, if anyone tells you that conversion masters in computer science is going to teach you how to be a software developer, they're lying to you. The degree gave me two things, however. One, 
12 months of constant caffeine overdose, two, I created a strong signal for potential employers that this is what I want to do and I'm serious about it. It's a bit like sending a super like on Tinder. You know, you like babies, food, traveling and dogs, but you're not the only one. By sending a super like, you're saying, look, I'm really interested, I'm serious. And that's the same with computer science degree. And you might think, oh, she said you can get a job without a computer science degree, but she did a master's in computer science. But you must understand that masters begin in October. And it so happens that at the same time almost, all the job openings for the following year close. For startups, it doesn't matter, but then for the big players like, say, investment banks or tech companies like Amazon, Facebook, and you know, all of those companies, that will matter. Um, so, to reiterate, I was, say, one month in the course I didn't learn anything. I didn't have time to learn anything. Uh, my skill level was exactly the same. So, okay, I was creating that strong signal for employers. That is true and that is great. That helped. But I still had to prove that I can code and I couldn't. So that's why it was so important for me as well to look for companies that will hire me without coding. There I was, still couldn't solve any hacker rank algorithms, I still couldn't contribute to open source software, I felt hopeless and I had a little bit of a crisis. So what did I do? As always, I looked for solace in the job market. Another pro tip, a lot of employers will hire people with any background, people that are smart, for their tech schemes. The demand for technology graduates is huge, the supply not so much. So just apply to those entry jobs that do not require you to have a degree in computer science. Those jobs will also not test you on coding. In addition to that, some investment banks, they have very specific schemes that train you up from ground um, to become a software engineer. I know for a fact that JP Morgan has one of those schemes where they basically pay for your six or eight week bootcamp where they just teach you Java and then they hire you to become a software engineer um, in one of their teams. And you do not need a computer science background to do that. They will just hire you and train you up. Or apply to consultancies such as Kubrick um, that again they pay for your training and then they place you with a client and you can get this real world experience without having a degree in computer science. All in all, just research. Just type in, you know, entry level software engineering, um, graduate software engineering, uh, technology graduate schemes at big corporations, and just see what they require you to bring to the table because it's very likely that they actually don't require you to have a degree in computer science. What they might require you to have, however, is an interest. And how you can show your interest is by exploring the subject and trying to do things on your own. And as I said, it might be difficult to contribute to open source projects, um, but machine learning is your friend. It's, re it's really the simplest thing you can do and I will actually make a separate video showing you how you can make an impressive project in machine learning that doesn't require you to do much more than a couple of if statements and for loops in Python. Lastly, you probably have an imposter syndrome. You'll think, God, I'm not good enough. I can't do this. I'm too stupid. All those guys in tech, they were just born coding. I can barely do X, Y, Z. And just remember, this is a part of the journey. Everyone had it. I certainly had it. So don't give up. Do your research. Set your eyes on the goal and just do it because you can. Okay, so what did I do in the end? I applied to one of those companies that didn't require to prove that you can code. Uh, companies that were just testing your logical thinking rather than actual skills and um, I'm a data engineer at the moment 
um, but I have, um, well, my grad scheme is structured in such a way that I will be rotating and doing various things. So I am a data engineer now, but in a couple of months I might be doing something else. But yes, I'm, I'm an engineer. Um, I'm working with Python, Linux, SQL, Hadoop, AWS Cloud, Git, Jenkins. And also now I'm in the position that I can do my own personal projects because I know how to use Git. I know how to contribute to those, you know, open source projects. I'm building my own website in Django, uh, which is in Python. I am learning JavaScript and HTML and CSS all on my own because now I have foundation on which I can build. and. I understand things but you know getting that real work experience was invaluable and nothing will teach you as well as having someone else a teammate a co-worker sit down with you and just show you what you're doing wrong and just show you how to use this and that it's invaluable so do everything you can to get real work experience and um, as I said you don't need a degree you don't need that master's degree just go for it I hope that you found this video useful. Please let me know in comments what are the obstacles that you're facing on your way. Maybe I'll be able to help you out. Cheers.